You know, I believe that the children are our future, and I don't think anybody can doubt that. They were all like this young man. Well, our future would be extremely bright. This is what I mean. So I started the B1 project the summer of my eighth grade year, and I created the B1 project because my younger brother Josh was being bullied at our middle school, and I wanted somebody to do something about it, and I realized that that somebody had to be me. The B1 project is a day of games, activities, and guided discussions that's designed to create empathy among kids through shared experience. So the point of the program is to allow kids to see each other, really see each other for who they are inside, and to create a space where kids can be all of who they are without fear of criticism or judgment. So I've been doing the program for about four years now, and in that time I've worked with almost 3,800 students in four different states, and we're continuing to expand to schools all across the nation. I definitely have seen a shift in students' awareness of what they say and what they do. Um, in my classroom, we do a lot of follow-up from Matthew's programs, and one of the things that I see is students that felt at the, at the beginning of the program felt that they were alone in how they felt. So what's going to happen is I'm going to call out a category description experience. If it applies to you, you're going to cross from where you are now over this way. Please be one if you've ever felt alone or afraid. Look at how many people share your feeling of being alone or afraid. Consider the possibility that maybe they're feeling exactly as you are. So when we go into the, the classrooms, the kids that we work with a lot of times will enter the program shy, reserved, um, sort of withdrawn. Um, they're a little hesitant about the program, about what the day is going to look like. Um, and we see at the end of the program a pretty big transformation. You know, we see friendships being built and repaired. We see apologies offered and accepted. Um, we see bridges built across classmates. Um, it's really impactful for me as a presenter and as a, a person to really see sort of kids' self-esteem grow, um, to see people feel good about themselves. I think the B1 project is so revolutionary in the fact that it addresses the middle school age child and it really helps them to see that there is going to be hope and that it does get better. Community is so important. Seeing each other for a, a friend and not someone to be against and just to have that hope with people so close in age to them, telling them their stories. Uh, to me, that is the greatest part of the B1 project. The program is all about inclusion. Um, and so we really help teachers to sort of set the message that they want for their classrooms, which is that Everyone has a place, everyone has strengths, everyone has weaknesses, and that everyone belongs. Um, you know, the whole point of B1 is that we want everyone to thrive, both in and out of the classroom. I got involved with the B1 Project a number of years ago. Uh, Matthew and I were really close friends growing up in middle school, and so it's definitely grown into something, I think, far beyond either of us imagined or anticipated when we first started out. I mean, it really started out as a project for our own middle and high school, and it's grown into this wonderful um, nonprofit organization that serves uh, middle school students um, throughout Arizona and across the United States. Um, I got involved with the B1 project because I had seen things about it um, on social media, and I really wanted a way to get involved. So I saw that there was going to be a club at our school for it. And I joined it just because it's a subject that's really important to me because my younger sister has been bullied too. It's been incredible to see the change that's been happening just from being part of it. Uh, so I just want to thank the Arizona Interfaith so much for giving me the Golden Rule Youth Award. It means so much to me. Um, it's really validating and very humbling for me to have been given this award. Um, it's sort of a reminder for me that this work matters. Um, and it's sort of my push to continue to, to do this work. 
Um, so thank you so much for recognizing me and all of the hard work of you know, the people that have supported me along the way too. It really means a lot to me, so thank you so much. Wow, what a guy. Here to receive the award on behalf of Matthew Kaplan, who happens to be currently attending Duke University, is Tristan Peterson Steiner. Um, there are so many people I have to thank, and so a uh, little time to do this. Uh, but uh, that's okay, because I've been practicing my Oscar speech uh, for a long time, so this should go really well. Um, first, uh, I'm so honored to be here on Matthew's behalf. Um, I think we'd both like to thank our families. Um, it's been quite the journey, um, and your contributions uh, do not go unnoticed or unappreciated. Um, we'd also like to thank Liz Cool. Uh, for her unending belief in Matthew and his ability to enact change. Um, and she is a key reason that we're here today. Um, we'd also like to thank Amy Freeman uh, for entrusting us with our incoming fifth grade class, the first group of students that we ever worked with. Uh, without her support, the V1 project would not have reached its current heights. Um, there are so many generous supporters along the way that we'd like to thank. Youth Service America, Peace First, the Pollination Project, uh, people who believed in what we were doing. Um, and supported us along the way. Without their generosity, we again would not be here. Um, we'd also like to thank our community partners, some of which um, are here tonight, who have helped us uh, grow our organization and, and work towards our vision of a, a community uh, with, that is more empathetic um, and school communities that include everyone. Um, and we'd especially like to thank Matthew's younger brother, Josh, um, for not only allowing us to tell his story, um, but in the fact that he represents everything that our organization stands for, kindness, compassion, empathy, um, and we really cannot thank him enough. Um, finally, we'd really like to thank the Arizona Interfaith um, for this incredible honor. Um, and while Matthew is, not, is really disappointed to, to not be able to be here tonight, um, I think we're both really deeply humbled um, and very appreciative. So thank you all very much, and thank you for being here. I want to talk to Matthew about running for president. Uh, just a thought, just a crazy thought. Uh, 